Taran tan tan taran taran tan. Natural science class with teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about invertebrate animals. Invertebrate animals do not have a backbone or spine. More than 90% of animals on Earth are invertebrates. And we can find six different groups of invertebrates. Let's have a look at them. Arthropods. They have legs and an external skeleton that protects their bodies. In this group, we have arachnids like spiders, insects, and crustaceans like crabs. Then we have mollusks. They have soft bodies and usually a shell to protect them. This shell could be outside their body or inside their body like octopus and squids. So we have cephalophodes like the squid, bivalves like the clam and gastropods like the snail. Now that we know about arthropods and mollusks, let's go to the next groups. Here we have echinoderms. They have soft bodies and a hard internal skeleton. In this group, we can find starfish, sea cucumber and sea urchins. Nidarians like echinoderms live underwater. They have jelly-like bodies and tentacles. They can move around the sea. And the main animal on this group are jellyfish. So these two groups live underwater. Echinoderm have a soft body and nidarians it's also soft, it's more like jelly. Both can move around. Let's have a look at the last two groups. First, the annelids. They have elongated bodies without legs. Their bodies are segmented so they can move. This group is mostly formed by worms. And finally, sponges, they cannot move. They filter food from the water. So we have annelids that are basically worms and sponges that they live underwater and they are the only invertebrates that cannot move. So, in summary, we know that most animals on Earth are invertebrates. Approximately 97% of the animals. And they don't have a backbone. And now let's have a look at the six groups. We have arthropods, that are arachnids, insects and crustaceans. We have mollusks that are snail, like this one, or squids, octopus. Another groups are sponges, echinoderms. In this group, we can find starfish. Another group is nidarians. In these groups, are mostly jellyfish and the last groups is the groups of worms that is called annelids. That was all for this video. I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye all!